Hey everyone, it's Tony from Tony's Astro Journey uh, coming to you with a very exciting video today. Today I received my the shipment of my uh, Explore Scientific 102, 102 millimeter aperture ED APO refracting telescope. And if I didn't say it before, it is the carbon fiber model, uh, which is great because of the weight and it looks great too. Anyway, I kind of did the unboxings already as you can see. Um, but what I thought I'd do is uh, show you the scope right out of the hard shell case here, mounted on the AVX, and then sort of share some of the features of the scopes of the scope with you. So let me go ahead and get on with taking the scope out of the hard shell. So this is the hard shell that uh, the scope goes into when you're traveling with it, uh, whether you're going to star parties or remote imaging sessions or whatever. But it's a beautiful hard shell case, as you can see. And let me go ahead and unlatch it and then show you what this, this uh, scope looks like. It is amazing. So the latches come off really easy, like so. And then the lid just pops right off. And it's got this really good high quality foam inside to protect the scope. So I'll put that down here like this. And inside is the scope itself. So let me start by pulling the scope out. As you can see it fits really well. Very snug fit indeed. And it just comes right out like so. And this is the scope right here. And it is beautiful. Here's the retractable dew shield right here. And take a look at these optics. Uh, it is, they're EMD coded optics, uh, tri triple element here, uh, airspace triplet. And then as you can see, the dew shield just comes out real easily. So this is the scope itself. Let me go ahead and mount this on the AVX. As you know, I got this AVX about uh, a few months back here, and I did the unboxing for that. But the, it comes with these cradle rings, uh, the, the, the Vixen dovetail plate here, which mounts perfectly on the AVX. And it's got a rotatable focuser in the back here. And let me show you what the uh, star diagonal looks like, which goes very nicely into this case too, by the way. Uh, let's see. Uh, it just should slide right out. There we go. And there's the star diagonal. You do have to take these set screws out before you take it in, before you uh, mount it in the foam like this. But, I mean, it fits in perfectly. No problem at all. So this is a two inch uh, star diagonal and it fits in to the back of the scope like so. And it mounts with these real three hardy uh, set screws back here. And that is that. And this is a one and a quarter to One and a quarter eyepieces can go in here, and then you um, take that out here, and you can put in two inch um, eyepieces as well. So I like that flexibility a lot. It looks like a real good quality um, star diagonal. I will be using this scope primarily for astrophotography, as you know, my T6 will mount in place of the star diagonal here, but what I anticipate using the star, star, diag the star diagonal for is um, planetary eyepiece projection um, imaging, and that is something I have yet to uh, experiment with, but I think with this setup um, I'll, I'll be extra motivated to do it because of the optics of the scope. So anyway, uh, this is the Crayford uh, focuser here. This is the fine focuser, this is the, the general focuser, 
And again, what I like about this focuser is the way you can uh, rotate it around like that for the, to adjust for the orientation of the, of the pictures. But look at this focuser, it's just so smooth. And then if you want to do the fine focusing, it's just smooth as glass. It's beautiful. I love it. And the scope is beautiful. Um, and it mounts onto the uh, AVX really well and very excited to share this with you today. So ladies and gentlemen, the Explore Scientific ED APO 102 millimeter aperture carbon fiber refractor along with uh, the hard shell case that it goes into. Thanks for tuning in and if you're enjoying my journey, please subscribe. Clear dark skies everyone. Thanks for watching.